Okay, welcome to Bullshit News, a show where I basically rapid fire a bunch of news articles and give my thoughts and opinions on them. First up, old man Cosby, who I would like to point out is 80 years old, so they better move quickly if they'd like to get to guilty or innocent. He's on his second trial after the first one landed in a complete deadlock. Uh, but this time around, uh, the fact that he paid this woman $3.4 million is going to be, uh, admitted into evidence. Kevin Steele highlighted that the 2006 civil sentiment during his opening statement was apparent to suggest that Cosby wouldn't have paid so much if the accusations against him were false. Now, here is my problem. My problem is twofold. One... Rape is the one crime where the accusation alone can destroy the man. And please don't fucking say that it can't. Everybody knows it can. Secondly, did she blow the money? She will it. She happily took it. The Cosby paid $3.4 million to the woman he is charged. So he gave her the money. Now she's going for criminal things now that it's basically fashionable. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you took his money. That means you're a whore. And you got paid for what whores do. I mean, I'm sorry, but you took the money. And you took it before, 10 years before you charged him. Before you came forward. Did you just blow it? And then when he wasn't going to give you a second payoff, you then charged him? To me, this, if I was a jury, now I'm really doubting this woman. Andrea, uh, Costand? Constand? Ah, whatever. Keep in mind, she was given $3.5 million by Cosby and a civil settlement in 2006. Then she brings up that he raped her. Again, and, and look, 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 he may have done something inappropriate, too. But you took his money. I'm sorry, it'd be, it'd be one thing if you didn't get the criminal conviction, then you sue him for emotional damage. That, I get. But you sue him first, wait 10 years, and then you bring criminal charges against him. Now it's another story. Obviously, you must not have been that busted up when you were spending millions of dollars. Oh, the feminists are going to hate that. But... Again, a criminal uh, criminal burden of proof is a lot harder than a civil burden of proof. Um, at the end of the day, you waited 10 years. You have no video evidence. You have no DNA evidence. You have nothing to prove that you two did it, that, that anything happened between you two. You basically have your good word against his, and in criminal matters, guess what, sweetheart? That's not enough to convict. Cosby is not going to fucking spend a day in jail. I, I guarantee you. This is going to drag on, and thank God, thank God this has not turned into the fucking OJ trial. Oh, my God. If you're my age, you will remember the hell of that. You wake up on Saturday, you're all happy, and you run to the TV to watch your cartoons just to have special report after special report interrupt the fucking shit because OJ had a bowel movement that his lawyers were talking about. If you're my age and remember that fucking trial, I didn't give a shit which way it went. Fucking guilty, innocent, I don't fucking care. So... 
I hate to say it, it's probably going to end the exact same way. Now, moving on to people that are completely retarded. A woman has uh, made a children's book for Hanukkah. Anyway, um, she also wrote it to uh, point out the importance of vaccines because some Jewish families claimed religious exemptions and sent their non-vaccinated kids to private schools. Now, I tend to think, if it was me, any child in public school, I don't give a fuck what your religious beliefs are. They're getting fucking vaccinated. Private schools, unfortunately, I have to I have to go with the rights of private business owners to run their business as they see fit. And unfortunately, I also would not I would not this is a time that my principles conflict with what I would like to do. I would like to make it a, a law that you have to have your child vaccinated. And we just end the debate once and for all. Unfortunately, my principles of personal freedom and liberty are in direct conflict with that. Anyway, uh, of course, her book got uh, bombarded with one-star reviews once a Facebook anti-vaxxer group found out, and I've dealt with these lunatics before. Back when YouTube used to have video responses, and that's how you mainly had these types of things. Now we have Google Hangout debates. By the way, it's 7 o'clock tonight. I'll be debating the dark... Con I can't remember his name. Uh, we'll be discussing abortion. I am on the pro-abortion side because I tend to uh, I tend to be pro-death in a lot of these matters. Um, but uh, back when you can when you could do video responses, I got into it with a uh, with an anti-vaxer, and he basically said, "Look, they put mercury in these vaccines." I'm like, "Well, one, no, they don't now, but two, even if they still fucking did." Uh, have you ever given your kid a piece of salmon or tuna? Or, you know, made them, got, got that can of tuna and made them tuna salad out of it? Great, because you just gave them 20,000 times more mercury. So I I personally think this this idea that vaccines are, are uh, again, uh responsible for autism is is absolutely idiotic again uh the guy who started the bullshit had his license stripped by britain I, he's not allowed to practice i think in any nato country because he committed scientific fraud i i there was talk of a criminal case like it got that bad but even if the guy's theory was right even if the guy's theory was right and one in 100 kids were getting autism sorry 99 percent aren't and that's a hell of a lot better than a typhoid epidemic remember we don't have cures for a lot of the diseases we vaccinate against because we stopped working on it because we don't need a cure we created a vaccine a vaccine is not a cure it's not it's a weakened version of the virus that your body gets it kills it's got the antibodies it knows it it understands it and it moves on it's not a cure okay so if we stop giving vaccines these diseases that we again don't have cures for we don't have cures for polio these vaccines, um, again, the only way they work, again, we don't have cures for these diseases. We stopped working on it because, you know, we developed the vaccine. And another reason they work is because everybody's vaccinated. So the disease, even if it's out there, can't do anything. But if a large segment of people who believe a former Playboy playmate. Yeah, it's it's going to get bad. All right. I'm just checking how long I've been doing. Okay. Roe v. Wade must include abortion access for women in prison. Uh, January 22nd was the 45th anniversary of Roe v. Wade, and basically this is talking about women who can't get 
abortions while they are in prison. My question to this is, well, how the fuck did you get pregnant in the first place? I mean, you're in prison. Unless it was a guard, not a lot of men in women's prisons. And if it was a guard, then he needs to be fired and fucking... Fuck it. I'll say brought upon charges of something. So, now, my personal thought on it is, honestly, if a woman's pregnant in prison... And we're not past the point of no return, you know, where the brain's developed. Uh, then she should be kind of forced to get an abortion. because Unless she's got a husband or something. Because how the fuck is she going to care for it in prison? I mean, unless these lunatics... Of course, this is bitch media, so they probably think a woman should go free if she just had a baby. Um... So, yeah, I, uh, I, I'd love to know how these women are getting pregnant inside prison. And if it's before prison, again, um, again, I don't, I don't see the problem. Just take her to the fucking Planned Parenthood clinic, rip the fucking baby out, and fucking let's move on. I don't see the big deal. But again, I would love to know how these women are getting pregnant in prison because... Uh, another story about a uh, woman. She was dumped by her boyfriend after he said that... Um, she had a beer gut. Now, I can't exactly find... The photo of here with her with a beer gut, but this is a photo she took recently, and I got news for you. I don't know if your boyfriend just doesn't have any fucking balls and fell out of love with you or fell in love with somebody else, or maybe you're a clingy bitch, uh, but I can tell you one thing, speaking as a fat fuck, you're not fat. So, again, maybe he just should have manned up and said, look, you're way too clingy. And in a story that I just absolutely love, a group of vegan protesters in Canada are deciding to protest a restaurant that dares serve meat. So what did this restaurant owner do? Why are vegans so fucking weird looking? He decided to carve a deer leg up right in front of them. If I am ever in Canada, I am going to this restaurant. <laughs> I'll carve a fucking pig's head in front of him. So, yeah. Sorry. I don't want to I don't want to fucking uh eat uh eat a tasteless fucking dinner of quinoa and kale. Uh shit. Fuck. I thought I had more articles than this. Fuck. What the fuck? Oh, uh, whatever. Um, I'm not going to look through my, my list. Uh, and finally, uh, presidential historian Gil Troy, Donald Trump has committed a crime against the American people. Really? What crime? He says that... He is the president of the United States by title and law. He is not the president of all Americans. Well, again, every president has not been. Barack Obama was not the president of all Americans. Oh, yes, that was another one that uh, somehow got lost. Uh, CNN literally said to Trump, uh, you know, you're the president now, not Obama. Stop blaming Obama. And actually, I tend to agree with the sentiment. The problem is, though, dear CNN, is you didn't say a fucking word when for eight goddamn years 
Obama blamed every one of his failures on George Bush. Great job. As for his his having the worst presidency of them all, look, what has he done that's been so bad? I mean, Trump hasn't been a great president. We haven't fucking, we haven't seen this dramatic uptick in shit. But really, what the fuck has he done that's so terrible? The economy's doing great. I think his tariffs are a bad idea. Uh, but all in all, he's not been doing a terrible job as president. Um, granted, this is just the first year, but I wouldn't say it's been a total disaster. America's still standing. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't get, um, and what got Trump What got Trump elected wasn't sexism, misogyny, white nationalism, xenophobia, or any of that crap. The Democrats fielded the worst candidate in the party's history. End of story.